is Giannis Antetokounmpo the most dominant basketball player in the world today? That's what we're going to be focusing on today. And I'm going to give you some evidence why I believe that he is truly the most dominant basketball player in the world. Now, this doesn't mean that he's the best player. I think that spot is reserved for someone else that we covered before. But today we're going to be focusing on the Greek freak. So sit back and enjoy the show. Now, before we get into the content, I want you guys to go ahead and hit the like button. We're trying to get the 500 likes for every single video we upload. So please, guys, don't forget to hit the like button because it's going to help the YouTube algorithm boost these videos and get a lot of people to see them. So really appreciate that. Now back to the content. Now, for those of you who don't know, Giannis was actually drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks in 2013 as the 15th overall pick. However, he was actually born in Athens, Greece, and that's really where he got the whole name, you know, the Greek freak. Now, the Greek part comes in from the fact that he was born in Greece. However, the freak part is because of the way he's built. He's 6'11", 110 kilograms, which is about 230 or 40 pounds. And he plays like a guard. He has handles like a, you know, like a, like he plays, he has, you know, not as, you know, like Kyrie Irvin, but he knows how to handle the ball really well. He can run the fast break extremely quickly. And he has these giant long strides that he takes when he's, you know, attacking the rim. So when you, when you want to classify him as a basketball player, it's really hard to, you know, place him in any specific slot because he's not a guard because he's not, you know, he doesn't play that position. He's not a center because he doesn't have the size to play as a center. However, he seems to be positionless. So this means that he can play basically one, to, you know, one all the way down to the five spot in, you know, in stints. He can bring the ball up the court. He can, you know, shoot like a two in some instances. He can guard the three position. He can guard the four position. And in some, in some cases, he can help, he can play help defense on a five. So that's what really makes Giannis, you know, um, you know, this all around player. The other thing that really, you know, why people call him the Greek freak is just his sheer athleticism. This guy can jump literally out of the gym. He is extremely athletic and he's very strong. In fact, from since he got into the league, Giannis has put on 65 pounds of muscle. Now think about that. That's about 25 to 30 kilograms of muscle. When he came in, he was really slinky, he was really skinny, but since then he's actually developed to be a very strong basketball player that has some size to him. So when he's in the paint banging and trying to get to the rim and dunking and all of this thing, he can actually take contact and then finish over the top. That's what really has helped in his development is also the fact that he's been able to put on a lot of muscle as he's been able to go on in his, you know, on his career. Now that's, you know, that's sort of his development and that speaks to the mentality that Giannis has. And I think that's the reason why Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, went all the way out to say that he he's passing on the Superman title that he so dearly, you know, uh, loves onto Giannis. And he says, this guy is the next Superman because he's the most dominant basketball player in the game today. And Shaq compared himself to when he was 24. And, you know, when Giannis is 24, and he was saying, this guy is just simply much more dominant than I was. Now, Shaquille O'Neal is the most dominant player, uh, I believe, to ever play the ba basketball, you know, next to Will Chamberlain and all these other players. But for him to hand that title over to Giannis, it's something that's really, um, you know, it must have taken a lot for Shaq to do that. But that's the reason why Giannis is most likely going to win MVP uh, this year because of the way he plays the game. He's, I mean, in 2019, he's averaging 27.7 points per game, 12.5 rebounds, and 5.9 assists, basically six assists this year. So you can see by his numbers that he has a complete all-around game. Now, the funniest thing about Giannis is that he's not really a good a perimeter player. He doesn't really shoot really well from the outside. He can make, you know, you know, an open shot here or there, but that's not really his game. His game is that he's a slasher. And what happens is when he, you know, when he attacks the defense, he just collapses the entire defense. In some cases, you know, uh, you know, different NBA teams have to play, you know, zone defenses on him. Uh, but even to that extent, they don't really have consistent success against him because he's so relentless. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about Giannis's mentality. You see, Giannis, uh, Giannis is a person that really believes in personal development as a basketball player. And that's why he sec uh, he went out to seek the guidance of Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant taught him a lot about basketball and he taught him a lot about patience. And he said, uh, in, a, in an interview that he did where he said, when I went to go train with Kobe, Kobe made me do the fundamentals over and over and over and over and over and over again. He's like, you're going to stand here and you're going to hit this shot 20 times. And Giannis is like, not 10? Kobe's like, no, 20 times. He's like, wow, this guy makes me want to really, you know, improve my game. And he changed the way, you know, Giannis sort of approached basketball. He wanted Giannis to be very curious. 
we, st we start a drill. Oh, you got to think outside the box and you always got to be a kid. That's what he told me. The workout was great though. The workout was great. He made me make 300, 350 or 400 shots. We went to a spot and he told me, make 20. I said, make how many, 10? Like, he said, no, make 20. Be low, use your full work. When you shoot, raise up high and make 20. And I believe as the years goes, the years go on, you're going to see him add different facets to his game, which is going to make him even more unguard, unguardable. Now, I do believe that Kawhi Leonard is the best basketball player in the world. However, Giannis is the most dominant player because of his, you know, um, you know, but because of his God-given gifts. I mean, for God's sake, he's 6'11", and he can run the court like you know, like a like 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 um, Kyrie Irving or something. So there's nothing really you can do with that. However, he hasn't reached his basketball peak yet. So I think he does have a lot of improvement to do, but already he's most likely going to be the MVP this year. So I want all of you to keep an eye out for Giannis in the coming years. And I want all of us as, you know, as fans of the game to sit back and try to see how we can improve our daily lives and whatever profession we're doing. You can be a, you know, artist, you can be a singer, you can be a lawyer, you can be a doctor, whatever it is, a business person, just try to look for ways to improve yourself as Giannis did. And I guarantee you, we're going to have success just like he did. For more short clips and other interesting shows, be sure to subscribe to the Dreamers Pro YouTube channel. And for more in-depth analysis on sports and other events around the sporting world, make sure you make sure you follow us on our Dreamers Pro podcast on Spotify and iTunes. Until the next episode, peace.